Here's week four in our series, Disciple, in three minutes. If you ever wonder how you're doing at life, especially as you are learning to be a disciple, a follower of Jesus, uh, Jesus offers us a way to measure ourselves. He says our goal is to have a righteousness that surpasses that of the Pharisees. Now, the Pharisees were known for their passion for keeping the rules, 613 Old Testament commandments that told us how to live in a right relationship with God and with one another. And Jesus reminds us that those laws are foundational to our faith. And so our challenge is to practice and teach these commands so that we will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. It's a pattern of proclamation, teaching, and praxis, applying what we are learning. And it leads to the sort of righteousness required in the kingdom of God. Uh, Jesus is calling us to a deeper obedience, one that flows from our hearts. And a great place to begin is with what Jesus says is the first and the greatest of all the commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. So here's our challenge this week. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart. Uh, offer God words of affirmation. Uh, use a psalm from the book of Psalms to offer God your praise. Spend quality time with him in prayer and as you read his word. Uh, offer God a gift by making a financial contribution to support his work in the world. Uh, serve someone in Jesus' name. Jesus says that every time we love the way that he loved, we are demonstrating our love for him. And be physically present as you love one another. Uh, Jesus said that everyone will know that you are his disciple if you love one another. So love the Lord your God with all of your heart. Uh, when you do, you will grow deeper in your relationship with Jesus, and you will find it easier to trust him and obey him as you learn to live and love his way, reflecting his character, and that's going to make a difference in your marriages and in your friendships and in all of your relationships, and you will discover a peace that can only be found in him. As your heart is reshaped to reflect his heart, God's going to use you to bring hope and to bring light to people living in darkness. And when you wonder, how am I doing at life? You will know that you are learning and practicing what really is a better way to live. Uh, next week, we're going to learn a better way to manage our anger. Until then, I pray that you experience all of God's blessings, and we will see you next week. Take care.